breccia forms from lava like this that explodes out of the earth and quenches in shallow seas. The chunks and bits eventually cement into rock. We found a lot of breccia drilling the seamounts in the Louisville Seamount Trail. We've pulled up sedimentary rock that was likely sand on the shores of a volcanic island. And we found what we're most interested in, pure lava flows. All these rocks are millions of years old, buried in the ocean floor, and no human eyes have ever seen them before. That changes the moment they slide out of the drill pipe. The international team of scientists assembled for this expedition have years of experience looking and reading the rocks. Bill Crawford is the imaging specialist on board the ship. He's not only expert at bringing out the details and nuance of the rocks, he's also helped design camera systems to specifically help the scientists with their job of looking. One of those is this high resolution scanner. The core comes up, of course, in a catwalk, and it's, it's round. Uh, the core is then split into 150 uh, centimeter sections, and uh, then we split that in half into what we call the working half and the archive half. Um, the working half, the scientists get to experiment with, and the archive half, I get to take and uh, photograph in this high-resolution scanner. In fact, the, uh, the resolution is, is so good, at times we don't have to actually physically have the core uh, in hand to, to do what they need to do as far as description. The working half is sent on a conveyor belt of eyes. The naked eye is helped down the line by hand lenses, magnifying glasses, and to get an even closer look, microscopes. To use the microscopes and the special double polarizing camera system designed by Crawford requires a thin section. Petrologist Godfrey Fitton explains. We get the workshop to make these, which is a thing that we call a thin section. It's a little slice of rock that's being cut and then ground down to a thickness of less than the thickness of a piece of paper. So it's really, really thin. And we can then look at that down a microscope. Uh, but we have another gadget here, which is, uh, was designed by the ship, ship's photographer, in which we can see the whole thin section in one go. So we place it on this screen here, and there we have an image of the, the whole thin section, and we can see some big crystals and some rather finer grain material, and this is what, what most volcanic rocks look like in these thin sections. But best of all, we can view this thin section in polarized light, and there we see the what we call polarization colors, which let us identify the individual minerals by, their, by the colors that, that, that show up in polarized light. Innovative imaging techniques on the ship are making the scientists' task of looking even more powerful, and the visual record created a library for researchers around the world.